Hello, hello. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automatically resize a planner or a template you've made in InDesign using InDesign's alternate layout features. The only panel you're going to need open for this tutorial is the pages panel here. So to get that open, just go window at the top here and then find the pages option. So I've got my template all designed here. It is currently A4 and to change it to A5 is really easy because A4 and A5 have the same proportions. However, we're also going to be switching it to um, letter and half letter, which will require some amount of rejigging the template. So first to switch it to A5, it's very easy. We're just going to right click our page over here and then select create alternate layout. So this name here, it says A4H. This just means horizontal because our or orientation is landscape. So if we change that to portrait, it'll change to A4 vertical. But we don't want it to be A4, we want it to be A5. So I'm gonna click this drop down and select A5. Four options, the liquid page rule. Uh, it might be on preserve existing by default, but I generally put it on scale. So once we've got that, I'm going to click OK, and then you'll see that our page has changed a little. We've got A4 vertical and A5 vertical up here. So if you want to get this back to the regular view, just right click the panel, go view pages, and then horizontally and vertically. It has switched to by alternate layout just when you create an alternate layout. So our page is down here, and I'm just currently in the preview mode, so to toggle that on and off, it's W. So here is my reading tracker. You'll see that everything has resized to about 70% of its original size. So now let's change it to letter. So back up to the A4 one. I'm going to right click this again, create alternate layout. For page size, we're going to choose letter, change it to vertical, and then I'm going to leave it at scale. We click OK. And now we have letter vertical as an option here. So you'll see that because our proportions are different, everything didn't really land in the same place that it did with the A4 and A5. So we might have to do some readjusting of your template just to bring it back up to where it should be. But everything should stay centered based on your template. Once again, back up to the A4, and we're gonna do half letter template now. So create alternate layout, letter half, make it vertical, and once again, we'll leave it on scale. So once again, now we've got a really big space, and that's because letter and half letter aren't the same proportions like A4 and A5 are. So we can once again, just shift that down and you might have a lot of empty space up here. So alternate layout isn't gonna work for every layout you've created. It can be a really great starting point to start getting everything in the right size, you know, the correct dimensions to make everything as consistent as possible, but you're still gonna end up with some weird empty spaces or in the case of letter, you know, there's not a lot of space around the reading tracker here. So that's going to be something that you might need to redesign around, but overall, this is a really great way to quickly and easily make something a different page size. If you like that video, make sure to like and subscribe. This is the last week that I'll be making new videos on Tuesdays and Fridays. I'm going to be teaching again after this week, so I'll only be releasing new videos every Tuesday.